Hello everyone, uh, my name is Dr. David E. Clark Jr., the proud CEO of Chester Hill Charter School. I'm coming to you today because there's some things that I'm very proud of, and I'm going to talk a little bit about those things. First of all, I want to thank our Little Beats Academy, uh, our own Joaquin Williams, uh, the Chat Foundation, and also um, Monte Mack, one of our seventh grade students. This is what it's all about. So I want Amante to come up here for one second because I want anybody to see it. Rising Star. It's, Mr. Magnum is helping us today put this production together. But I want him to say a few words to get started because this is what this is all about. Great, Amante. You're on the spot. Uh, my name is Amante Magnum and we're here for Yellow Elite and the school for being good. And Dr. Clark is appreciating all of y'all. And thank you for having me for today. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, that's why we do what we do. Um, this year's theme is uh, moving forward with tenacity. That's our theme for this year. Now, what does that mean? Well, it, it means a lot. Um, what it means to me is that our work is difficult, it's very challenging. But we have to move forward with strength, with confidence, and with faith. And all those things wrapped up together, from my perspective, mean tenacity. It's more than we can imagine. And I do hope that we all work together to make our children successful. Because again, their success is what brings me to work every, every day. Um, Today I'm in a room, this is a fantastic room, it's an unbelievable room. I'm in our gaming room, our eSports gaming room. And well, where is this coming from? This is not typical uh, for a charter school, but it is for us. Rodney House Jefferson, now he's uh, balling in Europe, in European League and also in Puerto Rico and some other places. And he's like the Michael Jordan over there. But he has not forgotten where he comes from. And so he has put this together uh, from his foundation called CHAP, Calm, Humble, and Patient. That's why we had this gaming room. And you know, I don't know about you, but I have kids and that's all they do a lot of times is you know, they're gaming. But it's something positive. We make it positive. And so I, I thank Vonda House Jefferson and CHAP Foundation for making this happen at Chester Community Charter School. Now, this year, on August the 28th was our first day back to school. And I have to tell you, this was smooth. It was the best opening year that we have ever had. And we have uh, close to 4,600 students, and we did it well. My staff did it well. You guys did a fantastic job. My staff and my parents as well. And I want to compliment everyone and thank everyone for making that happen because to me, that's an indication of what's going to happen in October, what's going to happen in November, December, January, and all the way through. We're going to be successful if you're going to have a great, great year. We have some other things that are going on too, so our Jolly Beats Academy. Um, we, we're going to have intramural sports this year because, you know, not everybody plays on the official teams, um, but this gives everybody an opportunity to participate in sports. Now, some might say, what's the big deal about sports? Well, it's a lot about sports. It's not just the ball. You know, it's about children working together, feeling good about themselves in a positive way. So that's one of the reasons why we're bringing in uh, intramural sports. Let me get back to uh, tenacity. Uh, our teachers are, have to come in every day and they have to be on their game every day. And that's a hard thing to do. Imagine being in the classroom every day, 25 students in the classroom, some range that come from different backgrounds, um, and so it can become very challenging. But our teachers, they put that game face on every day, and they come in every day, and they do what they have to do. And so I compliment them. And I also want to thank the parents for sending your children to Chester Community Charter School. Now, you made a statement by sending your children to Chester Community Charter School. You're saying that I want something better for my children. I want something different and better for my children. And so you send them to Chester Community Charter School. And so we thank you for having that trust in, in us. Thank you again very, very much. 
Um, there's something that's special to me, something I'm working on this year, um, and that's student attendance. Coming to school is extremely important. I look at it like this. If I'm supposed to be in school from, say, 7.30, quarter to 8, until 3 o'clock, and I'm not in school, well, what am I doing? Think about it. What is my child doing in the, between those hours? And that's that's a design for uh, getting in trouble. You know, and so and not learning as well. So it's important that our children come to school on time every day. That in itself, I'm sure that they will be successful in life. So I'm going to be going around. Honestly, I'm going to go around trying to get volunteers. And if you hear this message, please feel free to contact my office. But I'm looking for volunteers to go out to homes and see how they can help their child who's not coming to school. Uh, it's an outreach program that I'm initiating myself because I think it's extremely important for children to come to school on a regular basis and that will ensure their success. Now we, um, we have uh, multiple different things going on. We have a, a deputy a superintendent who's going to be joining us uh, shortly and talk about some different academic things that we're doing in our school. We have some new initiatives that I am enthused about. Um, and it's going to make our students even more successful. So having said that, um, in closing, I again want to thank everyone for participating, for sending your children to our school. I want to thank my staff members who make all of this thing happen. See, I've been blessed. I've been blessed to have a remarkable, amazing team that works around me and works with me. So in that area, in that respect, you know, I've been successful. So again, I appreciate all of you and thank you. Hello, I'm Dr. Stephen D. Bourdais, the Deputy Superintendent and Chief Academic Officer for Chester Community Charter School. This week and next week, our scholars will be taking the iReady Diagnostic Test. I want to take a few moments to talk with our families about why we are taking the iReady Diagnostic and why it is so important for our students to do the very best. iReady Diagnostic is taken three times during the school year, in the fall, in September, in the middle of the school year, in January, and at the end of the school year in May. Each time that our student takes it, we are given data that lets us know how our students are performing on grade level standards. Our teachers, in turn, use that data to help our students during growth block and to differentiate instruction. We want our parents' support in making sure they encourage their students to take the test very seriously and each and every time they take it to do their very best. We thank you in advance for the support and looking forward to working with you during the 2023-2024 school year.